Well, the FBI had had a program called the uh, the Counterintelligence Program that had been created originally in 1957 against the Communist Party. Mm. Uh, the so-called black desk or, uh, or the racial uh, component of it was created to neutralize the um, uh, Black Panther Party, primarily the Black Panther Party, but even before the Black Panther Party, the, the black uh, power movement generally. Mm. Uh, and um, part of doing this was to try to keep uh, you know, activists like the Black Panther Party away from youth. Uh, one of the strengths they recognize mm. Uh, with the Black Panther Party was this ability to reach youth uh, and to mobilize youth to join it. And the, the majority of those in the Black Panther Party were far and away under the age of 25, in fact. Uh, so, um, you know, the, the government's prime uh, objective was to keep that away from it. But also the newspaper, the Black Panther newspaper, was extremely important, even now to this in this period, in the sense that it was able to take... Uh, uh, theoretical and political uh, issues of great uh, complexity and, and break it down so that people could understand it and so that people, in fact, could, could re, uh, restate it in terms when they were out to feel as organizers to be able to talk to ordinary people. So the Black Panther newspaper was extremely important in that sense. It was also important in terms of the, the imagery that was used by uh, uh, Eric, Eric uh, was it, uh, Douglas, Emory Douglas. Emory Douglas, I'm sorry, early okay. in the morning. Emory Douglas, who uh, was probably, still is the, in my mind, the most effective and the best uh, political journalist ever seen in the United States. Cartoonist, yeah. Right. Yeah. And uh, he's the best ever seen. And um, the, the, the beauty of his uh, technique of, of imagery was to take the downtrodden masses, put them in a form where people could look at them and identify them almost as though it were a photograph mm. and, and have under there a very simple text about what people were suffering mm. or about what the program, this particular program of the Black Panther Party was designed to address. Mm. And uh, that was powerful, the, the images of people standing up in resistance to white racism and, and the police. Mm. Uh, and and you know and all these and all these ideals of, 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 of basically real potent but complex ideas mm -hmm. boil them down so people can understand them and even put them in imagery form and so in that sense the Black Panther newspaper was unparalleled uh, before or since in my mind. Yeah. Uh, now as far as the repression though the repression came down around about uh, 69 late 68 69. Uh, you know, you had people start being arrested on uh, frame-up cases, mm -hmm. uh, as well as people who were arrested for uh, just basic political activism, mm -hmm. you know, harassed and so forth. And, uh, and of course, there were uh, also acts of violence by the police. In my case, though, you know, I uh, was in, in, in Chattanooga, Tennessee, where I'm from, and we were, we were in the first phases of building the uh, of Black Panther Party mm -hmm. there. And uh, was um, framed on one charge, uh, uh, which went to trial of kidnapping a uh, informer and uh, stealing a car. We were framed on that, and we beat those charges. Hmm. But then, uh, around that time, Dr. Martin Luther King was murdered in Tennessee, hmm. and that was in 1968, April 1968, hmm. and. Uh, Around this time, after the shooting, you know, he was murdered. Mm. Then there was a huge uh, um, rebellion all over the country, black mm. rebellion all over the country mm. uh, against police, uh, against this, this shooting, which they suspected the police and government having a role in. Mm. Mm. And uh, so the people re rebelled. And in, in my hometown, there was a huge rebellion. Uh, the office of the, one of the Ku Klux Klansmen was blown up, who also happened to be a judge. And... Um, uh, later, I was charged with this, or at least was questioned about it, at a, before a grand jury, and I was locked up and was, and, and was you know, being held uh, for several months to make me testify before a grand jury and all this kind of thing. What they wanted to get were informers. Meanwhile, at the same time, some of the leaders of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee uh, were being uh, prosecuted in absentia in uh, Nashville, Tennessee, for uh, treason and this sort of thing. So this treason. Treason, yes, treason to the state, wow. and there were these uh, these uh, grand juries all over the state of 
Tennessee, you know, looking into local black militants, investigating local black militants. So I was eventually uh, run out of town, essentially. I was told that if I didn't cooperate, a cop told me this, that, that I'd gone to school, said that they've got you set up. If you don't get out of here, uh, they're going to they're gonna wind up killing you. Wow. That's, that's what's going to happen. You wind up, you're going to wind up dying in jail, and that's going to be the end of it. So I got out of town, went to Atlanta, which is like 100 miles away, larger city, and it's also where uh, the Student Nonviolent Coordinated Committee had its old base, you know, its mm -hmm. offices. So, so I was just like laying low. And then um, one day it popped up on uh, uh, the newspaper that I, in, in, in television, that I was being sought by the FBI for, for the bombing and the inciting the riot and all this. And I said, well, you know, you know and everything it startled me, you know. But I realized that I had to get out of the country. I, there was no real underground for black militants in those mm -hmm. days. There really wasn't, you know, you couldn't hide, uh, you know, people would run you down. Plus, these organizations were so infiltrated mm. with informants and agents and so forth, you you know, they, 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 they could catch up with you pretty easily. And so, in my case, I, I had to get out of the country, and the only way I, could, I couldn't go and apply for a passport, obviously. So, I, uh, we, we, there, were, there had been high plane hijackings by uh, 1969, and uh, so I went to the Atlanta airport, and got a flight to Cuba and just took it over and landed in. How did you do that? I mean, you, oh. you, you, you hijacked a plane. Yeah, well, I, I had a, a firearm <laughs> uh, and a, a grenade, a wow. military grenade, and, uh, you know, and went in and... Uh, was the plane going to Cuba originally? It was going no, 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 it was going to Florida. <laughs> and and um, right. the, there was a... The, and back in those days, because there had been so many plane hijackers, there was a... Um, uh, Sky Marshal, they call him. Yeah, yeah. and um, so I uh, knew who knew who he was. You could just point him out. You yeah, could, yeah, him. cop. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. cop written all over him. You know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Had, had a sign said cop. All right, and okay. I just went over and, and 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 you know put a gun in his neck, took him <laughs> took him to the front to where the, to the pilot was, and uh, had this, had them open the door, and I went in. You know. Right. And diverted the plane. Told them, that, you know. Yeah, we're going to Cuba. Yeah, we're going to Cuba. So <laughs> they, they, it wasn't that far away. It's only ninety miles. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's quite close. To so we there. flew over and we 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 uh, landed in Cuba. And um, of course, this made me a really wanted man, you know, as far as the FBI was concerned, you know. And um, they they put out a worldwide what they call a worldwide lookout for me, you know, right, right. and uh, and everything, and I. I stayed in Cuba for a while. There were some political problems with the Cuban government and, and Eldridge Cleaver at that time. He was in Cuba mm -hmm. and he was having a, a row with these people, you know, in the Cuban government. Uh, various little incidents had taken place. And so they couldn't do anything to him, but they took it out on the rest of us. Uh, you know, anybody they considered Black Panther, they locked us up, Some of, many of us. In Cuba? Anyway. You were in Cuba, to. yeah, we were locked up. And I was locked up uh, for several months and then uh, deported. And they deported several other uh, persons they considered Black Panthers mm -hmm. out of there. Or if you're affiliated with at least uh, with you know, Eldridge Cleaver. They thought you were affiliated with Eldridge Cleaver's wing. You were out of there. Right. You know, this is adventurism and so forth and so on. So they shipped me to uh, uh, Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia. Prague. 